Hi, I'm Venevi Mahendra from Brandwagon Online and you're watching Brandwagon Explained. Today we're going to talk about the business of short form video apps. Online video consumption has seen a tremendous growth over the last few years, with a surge in users bolstered by prolonged stay-at-home periods during the pandemic. According to a report by Bain and Company, India's large base of approximately 640 million internet users have about 550 million are smartphone users. This is rapidly growing and spending more time online. And most of all, nearly one hour per day a smartphone user is spending watching and consuming online videos. To give a perspective, short form video segment saw a boost after the ban on Chinese app TikTok in 2020. At that time, TikTok had over 200 million users in India, and the sudden absence of the app created a vacuum which allowed other players to scale. For instance, short form video apps present alongside TikTok at the time registered an average growth of 1.37 times in monthly active users at the end of 2021, after the ban of TikTok, according to a Red Seal report. Currently, the market is occupied by a mix of global social media and video giants such as Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, YouTube Shorts, to homegrown companies like March, Josh, MX Takatak, Reposo, among many others. Now let's talk about some numbers. India's online video user base has scaled to more than 350 million users, growing at 24% annual rate from 2018 to 2020. Time spent on videos per daily active user has also increased from 60% to 70% over this period. Despite this rapid boom, there exists a massive headroom for growth, something these apps are now experimenting with. Recently, YouTube announced that it had seen encouraging results in its early monetization efforts on YouTube Shorts, bringing forth the talk of monetization for creators on a short-form app in a new format. Currently, monetization on a short-form app takes place in two formats, brand sponsorships and advertisements. In brand sponsorships, brands tie up with content creators and influencers to run paid promotional campaigns or videos to garner greater reach from the influencers' community. On the other hand, influencers also end up gaining more followers from the brand's existing followers on the medium. As for advertisements, apps place skippable and non-skippable ads in between videos. However, this medium of monetization is more beneficial to the app than to the influencers. The biggest challenge with this segment is the introduction of newer monetization models. But industry experts hope that the rise in social e-commerce might change this. Social selling, experts claim, might be a new form of monetization that can emerge. To give you a little perspective, according to Red Seal, four key factors will drive the growth of short-form video apps in India. And these factors are video commerce to assist shoppers and well-versed, not well-versed with tech, growth of D2C brands, intimate connections with macro or micro influencers, and local sourcing and of low products, average order value. It is estimated that of the $4 billion total live commerce gross merchandise value will become to 2025. Short form live commerce will be approximately $2.5 to $3 billion GMB 
with virtual gifting emerging as a new monetization opportunity. However, social selling has been experimented with in the past by some of the apps. In this format, influencers talk about how users can get better discounts or a better commodity from their partner brand. While it has been experimented with, it hasn't really seen encouraging results as of yet. Short video apps are estimated to create monetization opportunity up to $19 billion by 2030, as per a report by Red Sea Consulting. Currently, only 1% of the overall digital advertising spends accrue to short form video apps. However, going forward, the space can account for 10 to 20% of the overall digital advertising pie amounting to almost $6 billion by 2030. This means that sooner or later, short-form video apps need to come up with new formats of monetization for the creator community, which extends beyond brand sponsorships and advertisements.